Hey, what's up guys? Uh, got a little project I'm going to share with you tonight. I've got this impact driver. It's, an, uh, it's a Makita and uh, the problem with it is that it won't reverse polarity when you switch the switch. It just stays in the forward position and won't reverse for some reason. So I'm going to open this thing up and see if uh, I can't figure out why it's doing that. Um, I use this quite a bit for my when I was building my office here uh, this last summer and uh, I guess it was a little bit too much for it because it drove a lot of screws in the drywall in here um, and this is another thing that I'm going to be sharing with you before too long is my office I didn't do another video on uh, on the completed project so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna shoot video of that and uh, show you the loft and how I get things up there and, and in up in the storage uh, heavy things instead of carrying it up a ladder I have a winch uh, that I installed and uh, I'm going to show you how I winch stuff up into the loft above me and so anyway that'll be in another video but tonight I'm going to take this thing apart and uh, see if we can't solve this problem and get this thing to re reverse polarity see what's wrong with the switch so let's get to it Okay, let's see what's inside this thing. Let's open her up. What's going on here? This particular model has uh, Phillips screws right here, and I'm going to begin by taking the, those out and try and get this front end off here. And uh, then by getting that off there, hopefully I can see what's going on inside here on the switch that's causing that not to switch polarity pretty tight. Now they make them to where they don't just come right out of there, that's for sure. It's come, uh, hopefully it's just a contact or something in there on that switch that uh, got some corrosion on it or something that we can just clean and uh, solve that problem with this, this thing. We'll see. And I'm hoping that by taking these screws out that this front end will, uh, of this thing will just come off. I don't know. Uh, you have this here that's in the way. And there might be something we have to do to get that off there. But this is the last screw here. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's see. Screw over there. Let's see what happens here. Hey, that came right off. Okay. And that doesn't let me see what's in there in that switch. You see how it's not reversing polarity. It's just... So, it looks like now I'm going to have to take the screws out on the side of this wrench. Several places here. And take this thing apart. That's not good. Got grease in there. I'm gonna have to get me a rag. Get my hands clean. Be opening up a can of worms here, but you know, if I destroy it, I destroy it. I'm gonna take this hook off of here right now. It's got this hook for hanging it on your tool belt. I'm gonna take that off and get out of my way. Okay, Keep taking screws out. That's great. You guys want to look at the the gear? It's the gear that goes inside here. Take a look at that. If you want to know what's inside these things, looks like there's a spring right here too. Set this off to the side. They look like they're all the same 
size screws that came out out of the sides here. Okay, this thing should come apart now. And we should be able to see what's going on with the switch. Hopefully it just didn't fly off into a, several different pieces. Okay, it's got a sticker right here. And the sticker's keeping it from coming apart, so I'm gonna have to remove that sticker. Okay, let's see. Might be able to see what's going on here now. Okay. okay that's what it looks like on the inside. Got the trigger mechanism right here. And the switch. Okay, let's find out what's going on with this switch. Looks like this switch right here is moves uh, part of the trigger mechanism right here. So I'm gonna take this trigger mechanism out. There it is, okay. What we got here is uh, on the trigger mechanism, it has a notch notch right here that uh, goes right into that notch on the trigger and then it slides this mechanism back and forth anyway I'm just gonna kind of lift it up a little bit okay I don't know if you guys can see that but there's the mechanism right there you can see there's a bunch of dirt right here in in the trigger mechanism uh, the switch right here see all that dirt I don't know if you can see that I'm gonna zoom in See if we can zoom in here. You can see all that dirt. See all that dirt right in here? There's all kinds of dirt in that switch. And maybe that's what's causing this thing not to reverse polarity. So, you know what, uh, you know what I think I'm gonna do? Is I'm gonna take this in my garage and I'm gonna take some compressed air first and blow this out. So let's blow that thing out. Okay, and I've got some electronic cleaner. This is stuff I bought at Radio Shack years ago, and I use it from time to time to uh, clean electronics like in computers or stuff like this. So anyway, I'm gonna continue cleaning this switch, and then we're gonna put this thing back together, and we'll see if it doesn't solve this problem. Uh, blowing it out with compressed air may have solved the problem already, but we're going to find out here in just a second. I'm going to use some of this stuff. Kind of spits it out in this, kind of spits it out into that brush. And then you just kind of clean it with the brush. Now I'm going to dry it off the rag. Don't want any residue there so dust will collect and get all over it so let's see if uh, we can put this thing back together now i'm going to put this uh, slider back in this is a switch that's got that notch right here that fits onto that uh, that peg sticking up and then slide it back in here and put it back in place now let's put this thing back together let's see if it doesn't solve this problem okay make sure i'm not missing anything doesn't look like it. Make sure all the wires are tucked in here. Slide this part back on here. Start putting all these screws back in. As you can tell, if you guys, any of you guys have been on my channel before, you know that I like to fix stuff. When I have a problem with something, I ahead and try to fix it first before I buy another one. Let me use my cordless screwdriver on this thing, make this project work faster. On the ones that I can get to, those are shallow, so not a problem. I might have an, a working impact wrench, I hope. We shall see in just a few minutes here. 
Okay, I'm gonna put this gear back in here. Well, maybe a fail. Why on earth is it not coming on? Must have unplugged something in there. I'm gonna have to take it back apart. There's gotta be something that disconnected in there. It's weird. Things should have, uh, should have worked. Gotta be something I unplugged or something, so. Open it up here, Let's see. There's the problem right there. That came unplugged without me noticing it. Right there, so. Anyway, if you decide to take one of these things apart, make sure that all your electrical connections are connected before you put it back together. Let's try this again. Electrical connections connected. Make sure nothing else is disconnected in there. I think I'm gonna slip this battery on here and just make sure before I put it back together. Okay, we got power. That's all I'm gonna do until... Okay, let's do this again. So if you don't wanna do it twice, make sure that your electrical connections are all connected before you uh, put it all back together like I did just now. But you know, sometimes that happens, you know. When you're working on stuff every once in a while, you're, we're just human. And as human beings, we make mistakes, so that's the way it goes. It's going to make this video a little bit longer. Sorry about that. Since I made that mistake. Of course, I'll be doing some editing, of course. And uh, I can edit a lot of that out so it doesn't make the video so long. I don't like to make my videos real long because, you know, I love watching YouTube videos, but I look at the time of a video sometimes and I just go, do I really want to invest 30 minutes on this video? So a lot of people just have a tendency just to fast forward through the video anyway to see, <clears throat> to see what they need to see in order to fix whatever they're fixing on a lot of these do-it-yourself uh, channels that are teaching people how to fix different things. I know I do it sometimes. I'll fast forward. It's like just a lot of monotony in the video. So you fast forward through it because it's monotonous. Sometimes you can go ahead and go through a video for 30 minutes. And uh, it's not a problem. A lot of, I watch a lot of the, a lot of vloggers and uh, some vloggers are really good at entertaining you. So you can sit there and watch a 30 minute video. But sometimes, boy, it can be pretty monotonous. Even some of the vloggers that I follow you know, sometimes they're real entertaining all the way through, and sometimes they're not. And uh, it's hard to sit through some of those videos. Okay, looks like it's all pretty tight there. So I'm going to put this gear back in. This gear right here, put it back in there. Now I'm going to put the front end back on this thing. these screws back in and we'll see if it reverses polarity almost there bear with me well we did a little damage for some reason I was putting that screw back in this piece of metal broke off there I have no idea why maybe I dropped the tool and it was already cracked but it shouldn't hurt the uh, the operation of the tool so I'm gonna put the battery back on and see if it reverses polarity like it's supposed to and see if it, we were successful in fixing 
that problem. So here we go. That's forward. And that's reverse. Okay, it's reversing polarity. So it looks like I got a tool back that I'll be able to use. That's awesome. So far so good. I keep switching it back and forth. So we're gonna call it a success. Um, it wasn't without problems. Anyway guys, uh, that's how I'll, the procedure I went through to uh, fix this impact driver. Um, I uh, started having problems with this thing, not forwarding and reversing properly, and so I was going to take it apart anyway, so I thought I'd shoot video, so that if anybody else out there uh, may be having problems with this, more than likely it's just dirt in the slide switch, and you need to clean it out, and, uh, and you'll get it back running as good as new. So, uh, thanks for watching, uh, if this video helped you, please mash the like button, and uh, Please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. What's that? Can you speak? Speak. 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 Louder. There you go. Good boy.